Okay, that was that sequence. Let me tell you a little bit about that sequence. It is 16 beats long. The clock divide is set to 16th notes. So it's basically a measure. Um, we have two different oscillator. We have actually several oscillators happening. Uh, but let's talk about what's happening on the first track. As you can see, it's just mostly D's and C. It is completely D's and C's. They're different octaves. And you can see where I have ties going, like by obviously you can see over here, but you can also see over here by the dimmed buttons. And those are the notes, essentially. We have two oscillators playing them straight, a uh, sawtooth oscillator and oscillator one, and a sawtooth oscillator and oscillator two, which is slightly shape modified, so it's not entirely sawtooth. Um, oscillator two has a lot of glide and a fair amount of oscillator slop, so it's not perfectly in tune with oscillator one. Um, oscillator three is different. It is a sine wave and it is playing the same notes as oscillators one and two, except for they are modified. If we go to track two of this sequence, we can see that track two modulates oscillator three's frequency. And this is what it looks like. Um, in each of these instances where this is happening, the pitch of oscillator three, which is being controlled by the first track of this sequence is modified by these alterations. So every time you see this, like a value of negative 29, that means it is tw a value 29 less. So it's basically playing different notes than what oscillator one and two are playing as a result of track one. I hope that makes sense. So we can actually hear what oscillator three is doing by doing this. Oscillator 4 is also being used, but we're going to cover that here in a minute. If we go to the modulation section, we can see that LFO4 is indeed controlling the level of oscillator four. So it's set to a triangle with a frequency of 16, which means that oscillator four is going to come in and out at a relatively slow rate. Yeah, that's interesting. At a relatively slow, slow rate. So it's gonna be fading in and out. Of course, uh, we have that set to the nasal waveform with a slightly shape modded towards what is probably the aw sample. And it's set to a level of zero so that we don't hear it at all until LFO, the LFO brings the level up. So that's what's happening with oscillator four. LFO one is set to random at an eighth note frequency, which means these are 16th notes. So this is going half as fast. It's synchronized, of course, an amount of 97. Um, it has a slew rate of 75, so this harsh stepped pattern that comes with random, random is made into less harsh waves. They're more rounded because of the slew rate. And that's sent to our filter one cutoff. So basically, we have a variation in timbre at an eighth note step rate, which is pretty cool. Uh, LFO2, whoops. LFO2 is set to a square wave at an eighth note frequency. Um, so half as fast as what's happening here. Uh, there's no slew rate, so it's basically coming on and off. And the destination is the filter to cutoff. And you'll notice we have a phase here. What the phase will do in this instance is, if we have this set to eighth notes, it'll come on you know, every two steps of the sequence. But if we use phase, we can shift it. 
So I'm pretty sure what happened here is I shifted the eighth note, a 16th note in. So it becomes an actual syncopation, which adds a little bit of uh, rhythmic interest to the sound. LFO3 set to triangle with a pretty serious slew rate and a high amount, and that's going also to the filter two cutoff. So not only do we have this syncopated metric eighth note on off pattern going from the square wave in the LFO, we also have that rising up and then sinking back down. And you can hear that, that's one of the reasons I played that as long as I did, so you could hear that slow change over time. Another thing that's going on here is that we have the delay set to, the delay one set to quarter notes synchronized with this, of course. That means it's happening four times for all of the 16 um, subdivisions here. Um, no feedback, and it's set to a pan of all the way right. Delay two, we have set to half notes. So it's like really only happening two times. The delay is only happening two times for all of these 16th notes, which is cool. Um, it's synchronized, of course, and an amount of 127, and it's all the way left. So you create some interesting balancing changes where the notes are echoing at different times in different ears. Now, this is not set up for stereo, so you're probably not hearing that. Please don't be mad at me. I'm sorry. Okay, and that is, there's also a little bit of filter envelope that's happening, at least on the first filter. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this and I'm gonna disassemble it so you can hear all the various things. I'm gonna start with taking the delay out and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, here we go. Oscillator 3 was doing. Take that out. Here you can hear that the glide is set on Oscillator 2 because it's sliding around and it's creating some in interesting chorusing with Oscillator 1. So there's quite a difference between what we were just hearing, which is pretty much the bottom, the most basic aspect of the sequencer, just essentially the notes. And here we'll compare the difference with all the different layers of things and how much it changes. Okay, and this is the original. So you can get a tremendous amount of diversity uh, through these various modulations. 